LEDs have a problem, and it's making them less efficient than they should be. But this could all change thanks to the firefly. Also known as lightning bugs or glowworms, these incredible insects are actually beetles. They've enchanted the human mind for centuries, and it turns out that they're also the most efficient light generators in the world. Fireflies use a special trick that turns a small amount of light inside their bodies into a huge visible glow. And now scientists have translated this magic into LED lights. Their research shows that compared to a standard LED, their bio-inspired LEDs could be over twice as efficient, making LEDs last longer and shine brighter. So let's see how this energy efficient engineering has been done. Fireflies have been around since the dinosaurs, and getting light from them has fascinated people for centuries. There's an ancient Chinese fable about a poor boy who was able to study at night and pass the life-changing civil service exams by herding fireflies into a silk bag to give himself a lamp to study with. But now these magical creatures are helping in a more modern setting. Traditional LEDs or light emitting diodes are much more efficient than incandescent bulbs, with around 30% efficiency compared to just 3%. For incandescent bulbs, the other 97% of the energy turns into heat, but for LEDs, the inefficiencies are a little more complicated. As I started to look into this, the most obvious type of efficiency for me was known as electrical efficiency. It measures how much light is generated inside the LED compared to how much power it's using. Light extraction efficiency, on the other hand, measures how much light is emitted from the LED compared to how much was generated. I like to think of this as how much of the generated light is able to escape the LED so that we can see it. The higher the extraction efficiency, the brighter the light is, because more photons are released instead of being bounced back inside and being reabsorbed or turned to heat. These two types of efficiency combine into luminous efficacy. It gives a value of how much light can be perceived by the human eye compared to the amount of electricity consumed to make it, and is what goes into the energy efficiency ratings of light bulb. This firefly breakthrough focuses on light extraction efficiency, which is really important. For example, if you've got an LED with great electrical efficiency, but poor extraction efficiency, you could be wasting over half the energy because the photons just can't get out. So if you're improving the light extraction efficiency, you're significantly reducing the amount of energy you're using. To really appreciate how these bio-inspired LEDs work and how they're solving these problems, we need to have a quick look about how the conventional LED technology works. LEDs or light emitting diodes are tiny. They emit light when an electrical current passes through them in a process called electroluminescence. This is because by passing electrical current through a semiconductor, it releases photons that can be seen as light. This semiconductor is made from stacking layers of doped gallium-based materials on top of a substrate, with material and design variations dictating the LED's properties. The innovation of the LEDs truly revolutionized the way we illuminate our surroundings. Not only are they incredibly versatile and much more efficient than other methods, but they are also long-lasting and durable, which makes them even more environmentally friendly. However, as we've discussed, the problem with LEDs is that some of the photons generated by the semiconductor never make it out as light. In other words, the light extraction efficiency isn't 100%, not even close. It's hard to get a solid figure of the light extraction efficiency of conventional LEDs because there's so much variation. However, a number I've seen floating around a lot is around 40%. The factors at play include the design and material quality. And I've even seen this figure put as low as 2%. Regardless, even on a good day, LEDs don't seem to be emitting a lot of the light that they're producing. Clearly, LEDs are not nearly as efficient as they could be. But before seeing how researchers are solving this, there's another great technology that can help you use your energy more effectively. The Anker Solix X1 is the perfect home energy storage system to give you and your household power independence and become free from unwelcome power outages. This independence can also save you money by allowing you to use cheaper electricity when you need it. Its storm guard mode prepares for outages by charging to maximum capacity when it receives a severe weather alert 
and can switch into backup power in less than 20 milliseconds when you need it. However, you probably won't even notice as it can run high power home appliances simultaneously without any problems. Equipped with the thermal boosting technology BMS and InfiniPower, the X1 can operate flawlessly across a huge range of temperatures, working in environments as low as minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to as high as 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Its modular pack design supports flexibility in capacity from 5 to 180 kilowatt hours and flexibility in power from 3 to 36 kilowatts. Its modular pack design also allows for expansion without adding losses and features an energy optimizer, which ensures you get the most out of your investment by minimizing capacity loss. The minimalist design is only 5.9 inches thick, ensuring it blends seamlessly into your home setup. With smart energy management, you can maximize savings by utilizing green energy more effectively and thanks to Anker's comprehensive app, monitoring and optimizing your home's power usage has never been easier. If you're looking for more independence and lower energy builds, check out the Anker Solix X1 using my link in the description. Now back to these innovative bio-inspired LEDs. The secret to unlocking the full potential of LEDs became clear when researchers looked closer at the surface of fireflies, who create light through bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is what causes many natural organisms, from jellyfish and fungi to plankton and fireflies, to light up. More specifically, it's chemiluminescence, because the light comes from a chemical reaction. The light is usually blue, green or yellow and used for enticing mates, encouraging pollination, hiding from predators or attracting their next meal. Mating rituals of fireflies consist of flashing patterns, kind of like a morse code, with lights shining visible to the naked eye at remarkable efficiencies. This efficiency lies not only in how the light is generated, but also in how it's emitted. In other words, their light extraction efficiency. In traditional LEDs, lens designs and diffusers play a role in shaping the light they emit. Lenses can focus or spread light, whilst diffusers help soften and evenly distribute the illumination. But a lot of light gets lost in refractions or internal reflections because of the differences in densities between the layers of materials inside the device and also of the air outside. This is why a lot of the light never makes it out of the LED. The photons bounce around and can be lost or reabsorbed, generating heat in the process. So what makes fireflies so much better at extracting this light? Researchers studying fireflies' high light extraction efficiencies discovered that a big part of this is down to the asymmetrical surfaces inside their lanterns, which is the organ that produces the light. Although modern LEDs do sometimes use textured surfaces to increase extraction efficiency, it's this unexpected pattern of jagged ridges that really enhances the glow by changing how photons move within and are emitted from the lantern. In fireflies, light is emitted through the lantern's outer covering called the cuticle. As photons try to pass between the two different densities of the cuticle and the air, they can easily get reflected back into the body and, just like standard LEDs, make the glow less bright. But if, like certain fireflies, there is a special cuticle surface structure with irregular and tilted shapes, more photons can pass through, providing a brighter glow. These structures increased overall surface area, giving the photons a better chance of passing through. These asymmetrical structures also tackle a phenomenon known as total internal reflection. This is where light hits the boundary at a steep angle and bounces back, rather than escaping. Asymmetrical or non-uniform structures disrupt this pattern by introducing randomness in a variety of angles and surfaces. This variation decreases the chance of light being trapped by increasing the likelihood that it will hit the surface at angles that allow it to escape. This use of randomness kind of reminds me of a genetic algorithm, which employs a level of randomness to prevent it getting stuck at a bad solution. These asymmetrical structures can actually be used in different places of the LED's construction to help photons escape and be seen as visible light. One group of researchers have created an overlay for existing LEDs, mimicking the firefly's asymmetrical surface. 
By doing this, they saw that it increased the light extraction efficiency by 55%. Another group showed how using similar structures in the sapphire LED substrate, which sits under the semiconductors, boosted extraction efficiency to 90%, which they say is the highest reported so far for LEDs. The lead researchers of this record-breaking study went on to file a patent for their amazing Firefly-inspired technology, which was granted in 2020. So real LED lights with these features are something to look out for. The researchers also found that these surfaces could be easily manufactured. This is done by cutting the sapphire substrate at an angle, meaning that mass manufacturing of this could be feasible. But one problem that ultra-efficient, brighter LEDs could cause is light pollution. Ironically, fireflies could be contributing to something that will make their lives more difficult. But this problem isn't inherently due to the technology, it's down to how we use it. The idea is that we'll use the increased efficiency of these lights to reduce power needs and not just end up using more of them because they're brighter or cheaper to run. LED efficiencies are really an example of how you can be doing one step really efficiently, but if the next step is inefficient, it really unwinds a lot of the progress. It's a good reminder of how different parts of the energy efficiency ecosystem need to work together to lower emissions with energy efficient engineering. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. It's free and helps me bring more of these videos on the amazing energy efficient engineering happening in our world. You might also like a recent video I did on a lightweight hydrogen fuel cell. And if you've got any other topics you'd like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.